The Punch TV. So for my kwa ba ba the punch tv so make sure say and any first time I dey channel yeah subscribe my like it make sure we will so ajaw join share or comment section or e for my e busu am for some lam na mo ka say story bi ababe to in ten time video no so am e e twene sle ni abasa obi e kasa fa ho e busu am for some re mun ka me ho na yen ko hwe video no em la ye ba e mun chire mun nyina ye ba be ka Bafsin green construction and trading up Bama Ghana for. Say Juma Kwedu and Juma Fatas on. And to say your hotel, school, hospital, bank, offices. Also facilitate corruption. Now, the position of Sylvia Kuji uh, really is about he raising concerns about how effective the constitution, the 92 constitution is in combating corruption in the country. And he's expressed strong reservations by existing legislations, asserting that they inadvertently facilitate corruption rather than curbing it. He highlighted a fundamental flaw in the legal framework, emphasizing the equal culpability of both the giver and the receiver of bribes. According to Kuja, this approach creates a disincentive for individuals to report corruption as they risk incriminating themselves in the process. Quote, our laws on corruption itself facilitate corruption, and I'm convinced that unless we really look um, at them, we will not go far in the fight against corruption. If you have a law that says the giver and the taker of corruption are equally guilty, how do you expect to fight corruption with such a law? Do you think I'll bribe somebody and go and report that I've given a bribe when I know that they will arrest me and arrest the person as well, charge both of us and possibly jail us? I don't think that will happen. And corruption has been one minute that has impeded Ghana's development for decades. And many attempts to fight the can have yielded little results. But uh, the PRO on the Tuesday show noted that the laws need the laws need to be re-evaluated and also there needs to be a paradigm shift in societal principles. He lamented a societal shift where values and principles have been eclipsed by a relentless pursuit of financial gain. And he called for a re-evaluation of societal norms and a return to cherish values, suggesting that such a recalibration is imperative to address the root cause of corruption. Quote, he says, and I've also said that he appears as a people we have unconsciously limited our definition of success to material gains. If it is not money, then you are not successful. As the average Ghanaian who is successful, the punch is material things. So I think we've lost our values and we have to really look at it because as even individuals who make up society, if we have principles and values that we cherish, we shouldn't be having some of these problems. And um, his remarks come after the Chief Justice Gertrude Tokono outlined a vision for the judicial arm of government which included a comprehensive review of ethical practices to restore integrity to the legal system. Now, uh, see, so there's this part of uh, 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 giver and taker of being guilty. He says that, look, it is um, um, counterproductive and it, it, it does not uh, facilitate the fight against corruption. The second part, which he raises, is about values. I've asked that question a few times here. That, for example, in um, Chi, they say that uh, when, when we want to describe somebody who's accomplished, I'm sure that when you were growing up, what, what the, the, the variables that were used to determine and what is used today, of course, have completely changed. You know? And I guess that's what he's speaking about. That maybe back in the days, you can even show experience with us. Back in the day, they say, Obi Abo Bra, who's the kind of person that we're looking at? And today, when they say Obi Abo Bra, is it about the fleet of cars? Is it about the number of houses the person says they own? Is it about um, 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 what they say they have? And, and, and obviously, whatever a society cherishes is what it, its people aspire towards. I don't know what you make of them. Um, these issues. <clears throat> well, first of all, I want to start from the position of, of public commentary on corruption. Mm. And I must say that a lot of the public commentary is completely misplaced. Why do you say so? Yeah, because when we talk about corruption, we appear to say that it is the reason why 
we are underdeveloped or the reason why things are not working in our country. It may be a contributing factor, but the commentary which makes it look like corruption is the main problem, I think is, is a false narration. Mm. One, corruption is a global problem, not defined by geography. It, it is not defined by ethnicity and so on. And even the, the Western countries that some people admire so much and claim that they have developed and so on, there have been major incidents of corruption. Now, if they are able to make the kind of progress that some people believe they have made, in spite of the existence of corruption, then they some people are going to see in the development. You understand? And I think that the factor which is responsible for underdevelopment may include corruption. But the main problem is the system of socio-economic development we have adopted. I mean, you take a country like Britain. Not too long ago, some members of the House of Lords were actually indicted for stealing the British taxpayers' money to buy pornographic materials. I don't think that we've had any such case in Ghana before. You understand? So I want to position this discussion on corruption in the Republic. Now, the claim that uh, our laws on corruption are defective because both the giver and the taker are, are equally responsible, you know, under the law, I think is a bit false. You do know that people who are engaged in the commission of crime, if they decide to assist investigations and provide evidence, sometimes they do not become accused persons, but they are prosecution witnesses. I'm sure all of us are familiar with that. So that would suggest that if there's a giver of bribe or a taker of bribe who is willing to assist in and prosecutions and so on, he may win some indemnity by the Attorney General. So that, that statement is also not completely true. Then there's the issue of values. I mean, Randy, when you live in a capitalist society, Mm -hmm. where the extraction of, of value, surplus value, mm -hmm. and what comes with it is, is an indication or provides an indication of your status in society. What do you expect? What do you expect? The capitalist society uh, is, 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 is for the rich. How much value you are able to extract and keep for yourself, how much surplus value you are able to extract and keep for yourself, determines your, your status in society. So clearly, if you live in a society like this... Bafsi ngwenye construction and trading a bama gana fo. Se jume kwe duon juma fa tason. En ti se yo hotel, school, hospital, bank, offices, ene wesi. Na po obi ame na tunu tason ma odia. And then I may come for Bafs and Green Construction and Trading at the amount. Obu one was in Dani, a one soup. And my name is Crampo. And for Sabro train our war. No sweat soup, you are gonna know for Biam and not to move to us a moudia. And then I may come for Bafs and Green Construction and Trading at the amount. The Yan is so many a mujidia. Your two bathroom towels, compound towels, swimming pool towels, kitchen towels, and in your kakamo. Then it is some of them said. So pass a Seattle. Now do location Maya. The Yan say. Cement, natural stones, tar cement, slabs, marble tiles, and nobody ye lay a sign so a supply. A sign see a juma hotel, no swear nintino. Ye wa a body crater, a yes certificate, a treasure ya fat entity ye. O betting ya friend home a true for you so. 0505 Oba wu ye breaku. Weja, a de kwa wini ba quantum pona so. Bafs and green construction and trading. We do it just the way you love it. The values will be different. We live in a society where we still, you know, um, place a lot of value uh, on, on inheritance in everything. People become chiefs not because they are the wisest people in our society, 
not because they've made more sacrifices for the development of our society, but simply because of their bloodline. If you have a system like this and this is the value system you have, why do you complain? Why do you complain? I mean, the whole foundation of society needs to, 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 to challenge the very basis of our society. I mean, all of us do know of the principle of the divine rule of kings. I'm sure we all know that. The punch TV. So there was a point in history, not too long ago, where actually kings, and if you like, chiefs, were believed to be the representatives of God on earth. Representatives of God on earth, simply by their bloodline, you know. So I think that we need to reorder our society if we think that these values are wrong. New values should only come from the, the reality of the production relations that we have and the, the altering of the production relations. That is what will bring new value. Sermonizing, pontificating, and so on does not bring values to society. Values are determined in the cost of production and distribution. You understand? So these are my, my views. All right. <clears throat> okay. Let, let me hear you. <laughs> well, I... I I, anyway, good morning to you. Mm -hmm. good morning. I haven't been here for a few weeks. Yes. Um, truth of matter is that I think that the concept itself uh, suggests that he is looking at it from the perspective of, okay, if someone gives out a bribe, then they're not inclined to go and actually report that particular incident because then they're also found culpable. Uh, so, I mean, we can debate that. I also feel that, I mean, there's a lot more to this corruption conversation that we normally don't have because of the politics of it and how we want to sensationalize some of the things. I mean, so if you, if you just oppose what happens in the corporate environment, even when an audit is done, uh, that audit is not done to look for, if you like, uh, things that are not good, but to even find ways of making sure that the processes that uh, the organization has adopted is actually effective. And in our case, what tends to happen is that we, we go, you read the Auditor General's reports, there's a public accounts committee, and if you take it from even 1992, every single year, it's almost as if they're the same. The punch TV. Close your eyes and you'll see that <clears throat> the same issues are occurring. And I'm of the view that even when it comes to these things, there's just a certain aspect of administrative, if you like, lapses and, I mean, uh, inefficiencies that we don't really talk about because I think that the, the, the corruption aspect becomes the focus. One of the issues, for example, is the issue to do with procurement, where we have state institutions that are, uh, by dint of its uh, setting up, are there to provide specific services to even the public sector. And for some strange reason, we've collapsed these entities. When I say collapse these entities, nobody gives them any kind of support. We have a Ghana Supply Commission, we have the Ghana National Procurement Authority. We have all of these entities that were supposed to have played significant uh, roles when it comes to supporting other public sector institutions when it comes to issues to do with uh, procurement that for one reason or the other we haven't given the right support and the resources to be able to uh, operate and so every entity has become almost like a procurement organization and so you would always have challenges and issues where people probably even at the either at the local government level or the uh, agency level or at the ministry level, do not have the requisite procurement skills or even are not up to scratch with what modern procurement practices are. You can put a law together for all you want, but if you don't have personnel within those organizations, we'll be able to uh, go through a process to ensure that we are actually getting value for money. You will not get that. I'll give you an example. There are certain instances where 
the entity tender committee and all of these other committees and everything, once they even sit down and they go through the processes, the amount of allowances that goes to these entities is actually more than what they are procuring. So even the bureaucracy of it itself causes challenges. So for me, sometimes one of the, some of the issues that we face as a country is not dealt with because we focus too much on the politics of it and not look at it from maybe a development standpoint as, okay, what are the systems, processes, and things that we can put in place to forestall these challenges? I'm going to wait for a day where even the Auditor General uh, report would come back and say, in last year, we found A, B, C, D in this organization. We felt that there were challenges with these processes. These are the things that we put in place. We've gone back to do an audit to ascertain that these processes are being adhered to, reporting lines are being uh, re-engineered, and we are not finding challenges with these things anymore. But you realize that the focus really goes to or finding a public officer <laughs> somewhere who uh, the punch CDs or has gone through a procurement practice that suggests that there's corruption because they have not provided the right receipts and all of those things. And then we spend valuable man hours even using uh, parliament's uh, limited time and resources to go through these things. So for me, I think that we can do a, a, a multi-pronged approach and find solutions to some of these corruption problems. For example, even issues to do with the um, deployment of technology. Now, if you deploy technology and you put systems and processes in place, then it actually takes out the, the human factor. You know? And there are clear examples of agencies and organizations that are working. For example, a couple of days ago, I went to the DVLA premium service because I couldn't find my driver's license. Within 45 minutes, I had a brand new license printed out. Now, here or two, people would go stand around the uh, DVLA office, find a Goro person, and pay actually more than how much I paid, right? And they probably would even come out with a fake license to start with. You, you understand what I'm saying? So we have to pick and, like, uh, pick and, and choose what we want in terms of do we, as a people, want to actually avail ourselves to some of these changes, or we want to maintain the, the status quo. For example, another example is even this issue to do with passports. And it's almost as if that it's, always, it's almost okay for the politician to be tagged and seem to be the one that's being corrupt. People... Media College. Mansai Media College is a school, power, a church TV so any radio so you may be Ah, ya sure ye o kumase a ton su. Baby ya uwo bia o persova man se media kalija. Na de hu ju media y din hon ma. Yen tie ju media y dino a man sign media kalij. Se u sunya bribi wo media mu. Ana o pese unknu bibi biara e fa media hu. En swe che kwa. A man se media kalij. Ewa homa. Ewa at your chef for wa kwadri ye wa di tremu. Na in studio ni ye newsroom di ye. E di chem. Wan sem tremu no. Ya tre bribi ti se. Kasi ya bo akenkai ni sinicha Ni bebrua ya keka huu Wa multimedia ya munso Ya chwe bribi ti se Sini mfoni SSA Mfoni nicha Ni bebrua ya keka huu Ya betu minso abu wawo Ama wode na wote pe esu nye bribi wawo Nkita hundie e juma ahudwo nyine mu Esa nse ya wo ya nkasa ya nkasa foni minti Abu ibiara Yama ya adisu ya fuwa kwa yi Maoko yodye ya chwe wang adisu ya demu no Ashe fo e huu E kame e se obi biyara wa wole Boso mchi ya se e ni mabako sema efa insu yi huu Menya bo fraki tuwe bi waha Ono suso o ni mabako sema efa Lek boso mchi yi huu E busi ya fuwa ya mama kwa ba E ba gana pages tv So emra son si ya de trending issues Nye koswa E wo abe e foten ta yi fidye ni so E be sommo Mi di yi nane je wa kwa di yi Ama insane media kalit Ya mao diwe hiyebiyawo inkuta hundi yi mo.